Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to apply the passport online in India and I'm going to cover everything in pretty detail. So stay tuned. First thing you need to go to this website www.passportindia.gov.in. Okay. I'll just reload this website to show you that there are some warnings by government itself that alert on the fake websites related to passport service. So there are many fake websites with these names, right? So those are all fake websites. So you need not go there absolutely. Okay. You can also apply for the passport using the M passport saver or the mobile app. Okay. So let's go back to the website. First thing you need to choose is new registration, right? Uh, so click on that. Now it is asking you that user registration and why do what do you want to apply for the register to apply at passport office and you have to choose your passport office. So I'll choose Bangalore and uh, then you have to give your name, surname, date of birth, email ID and uh, do you want your login ID same as the email ID that means you will use the same email ID for login also. And then, then you have to give your login ID. I think if you say yes, then here you need not to give anything. Let's say I give email ID here as ABC at rate. Huh, see, it is getting replicated. So if you choose no, you can choose something. But I would always say that choose your email ID only. Then give your password, confirm your password. Then you have to give your hint question so that if you forget your password, you can actually recover it. And the hint answer and this character and then click on register so with this the registration process will be through so i'll fill all this up and then we can meet again so once you register it's saying that this is a registration confirmation thank you for registering on the passport seva portal to activate your account please click on the link which is sent to your email id and this link will be active only till uh, 9th of december and today it is uh, 2nd of december so that means for seven days the link is active so now i will log into my email id and then click on the link to activate my login details it redirected me to enter the user id and then the password and log into the passport website let's do that it actually didn't ask for the password once i entered my login id itself it told that your account has been activated successfully now please click here to uh, log into the uh, passport seva kendra so i'll click here and then i'll give my user id click on continue then it is asking for the password. So I'll give my password and then we have to enter the captcha here. So once you have logged in, you have all these options. View the saved or submitted application, apply for a fresh passport or reissue of the passport. Then apply for police clearance, diplomatic passport, identity certificate, all this stuff. Okay. So basically what we need is applying for a fresh passport or reissue of a passport, right? I'll click on that. Now it is saying that applying for uh, passport ordinary passport did you ever had a passport if it is no then you will get a blue color passport if if you have an ordinary passport yes uh, then it is a reissue category right other things you forget about because i think most of us doesn't fall onto this category but it talks about like if you are applying for a diplomatic passport then it is a maroon color uh, if you are applying for a official passport then it is kind of uh, uh, white color passport okay uh, but yeah for me it is uh, blue color so i know that it is for general public and then i have to click here to uh, fill the application form and now it asks for the state under district so please choose the rpo by selecting the state under district where you want to submit your application so i'll choose karnataka and here uh, bengaluru now it is saying that you are applying for a fresh passport or a reissue of a passport. For me, it is a reissue of a passport, but my passport has been expired from quite a long time. It is more than five years. So mostly the procedure of fresh passport and reissue of a passport, which is more than five years remains the same. So click on reissue of the passport. Then it clearly asks that why you want a reissue of passport. So I'm saying validity expired within three years or due to expire validity expired more than three years ago so this is applicable for me click on that and i want to apply it for normal and i want 36 pages so then i'll click on next now 
it is asking for all the information needed right given name surname gender have you ever been known by other names have you ever changed your name date of birth uh, is your place of birth is out of india so all this information it is asking so these are like generic information okay i'll just run through once that then it asks for state district marital status citizenship uh, your pan number voter id if available uh, then employment type so are you government statutory private homemaker not employed all these categories you have to choose based on uh, your situation is either of your parent in case of a minor or the spouse a government servant so that you have to choose then the educational qualification and uh, then the is application eligibility for non ecr category so basically non ecr means if uh, you have passed 10th then you fall into category of non ecr so in that way you can choose uh, yes okay you can click here also and read the details you can tick yes if you fall under any of the following categories like right? all persons having educational qualification of matriculation and above so if this is the criteria then i think remaining you need not to read otherwise you can also go through if something you need specific then uh, uh, visibly distinguished mark okay yeah this is something you need to specify that uh, how do you uh, identify yourself like on your body what is the distinguished mark with which you can be identified then the aadhaar number and i think after supplying the aadhaar number you can validate it i think for validation uh, it will might be sending a sms to your registered aadhaar mobile number and from there it will be validated so it says that i the holder of the ever mentioned aadhaar number hereby given my consent to the passport seva to obtain my aadhaar number name fingerprints iris for authentication with uidi i have no objection using my identity and biometric information for validation with the aadhaar database only for the purpose of authentication so this is what something you need to uh read and then if you agree you click on yes okay if you are using aadhaar as one of your document for your identity proof and address proof i think i think applying using the aadhaar is easiest i think because the one document you need to give that will solve the all the purpose like your identification proof and your uh the address proof and then we can proceed ahead right so i'll fill all this information and get back so after filling all the information here click on next after that again it is asking for uh, father's name mother's name uh, legal guardian if it is applicable basically uh, for in case uh, parents are, are not there and so somebody is under custody of a legal guardian then spouse name uh, yeah so that information we need to fill let's fill this information now let's click on next so now you can see that it says that present residential address okay so as you can see here all this information we have already filled so it is in green tick remaining information we need to fill okay is your present address out of india i'll say yes so here also it says proof of the present residential address so list of applic acceptable documents so if you click on this it says this water bill telephone bill electricity income tax order election commission photo id uh, proof of gas connection certificate from the employer of the reputed companies on the letterhead the spouse passport copy uh, parents passport copy uh, in case of the minor the aadhar card the rent agreement and the photo passbook for the running bank account of a public sector bank okay schedule private sector bank and regional bank so everything is accepted now but i think when i last applied for the passport the uh, the thing they were taking was the uh, port of photocopy of the passport to the running bank account of a public sector bank okay that was like easily with that document you can get a passport there are no questions asked by the uh, passport officer okay so Uh, one thing is that if you are using this uh, passbook of a, let's say state bank of india then make sure that your passbook is updated with the latest transactions okay because they will check that okay till when this transaction happen is this passbook dormant or not those kind of information they might check but as i said i am using the aadhar card for application i hope the process will be smooth let's see yeah i, I think they have written here clearly furnishing of the aadhar card will expedite the processing of the passport application so whatever i was thinking that is actually true 
so here it says aadhar card and the e aadhar and electrically generated from the website as the case may be will be accepted as a proof of address and photo identity that is proof of identity for availing the passport related services acceptance of aadhar as poa and poi would be subjected to successful validation of the aadhar database obviously that if you if whatever information you have provided and whatever your fingerprints if those everything matches with the aadhar database then this will be considered as a valid aadhar proof right and uh, there are also some of the clause like for minor for minor applicants present address document in the name of the parents can be submitted okay so parents name documentation is okay for the minor document 7 uh, if you are submitting the certificate from the employer of a reputed company then you need to see that and only public limited companies uh, can give the address proof on the company letter head along with the seal computerized printouts shall not be entertained okay uh, similarly for 11 document 11 like rent agreement there are clause like what kind of rent agreement would be accepted similarly for 12 also to view the list of the banks whose whose photo passbook is acceptable as proof click here so if you click here i think we can see which banks are listed so here almost all the public sector banks are there and list of the regional and rural banks are also there and these are the private banks are also there right so in that i think hdfc is there axis is there icic is there i think almost all the banks are there right yeah so this is a uh, this is circular by the government of india ministry of external affairs so i think it should work now previously i was thinking that only public sector banks uh, passbook will be accepted but now i think everything is accepted so make sure you have you have the passbook and it is updated till date okay let's go back to our application process i'll close this as well okay so here we we went to this list of acceptable documents right so you need to fill this up first and then we need to move to the next so let's fill this up so i think there is a mistake i understood in a wrong manner is your present address is out of india i would say no actually i reside in india so most of the case when we are applying for the passport were in india so click on no and fill all this information here okay let's fill this information and meet so this is one option at the end is your permanent address available uh, i don't know at what case i can say no but i would say yes Um, and is your permanent address same as the present address i would say no because my native is somewhere else where my parents are staying and uh, currently i am staying at somewhere else so that's why i will put as no and here give my uh, residential address okay at my native that is what i understood and i am giving that let's fill it up and meet again so after filling all the present residential address uh, and the permanent address if you click on next then you move to the emergency contact so let's fill the emergency contact here now let's click on next see this tab is all about the previous passport since i am applying for a reissue of a passport that's why it is asking me for the previous passport detail right uh, if you are applying for a fresh passport this information is not required to be filled or it will not ask for this information but if you are applying for a passport so fill the passport number Uh, date of issue date of expiry place of issue and a file number all this informations is available in your old passport i think the inf except the last information file number everything else is available on the first page and the file number is available on the last page okay and then the details of the previous current diplomatic or official passport i think in normal case it is like i have never held any diplomatic or official passport so i click on this button and then have you ever applied for the passport but not issued so me it is no so click on no and save the details so keep saving the details because uh, if by any chance you are getting logged out then all the informations will be erased if you have not saved clicked on save my details right so after filling each page let's click on save my details that is uh, always good okay if by chance you logged out for at this stage so when next time you log in all this information should be filled otherwise again you need to fill it now click on next so there is a series of question here provide the following details is there any criminal proceedings pending against the applicant 
so for me it is all no so i'll just click on no for everything let's read one of the questions how does it say if no is the correct answer has any order prohibiting your departure from india made by any court no right next is uh, provide the following details if the applicant has been convicted by a court in india so it is no provide the following details if the application has been refused or denied any passport no so i click everything no if you want to go through this uh, questions please do go through but obviously if you read this central line so if the answer is no everything is no basically so has your passport ever been impounded no uh, has your passport ever been revoked no right so similarly provide the following details if the applicant has applied for or been granted for foreign citizenship no granted any foreign citizenship provide the following details if applicant has returned to india on emergency certificate no and i'll say save my details so now if you look at uh, we have filled this identity certificate and other details also so we'll move to next what is the message here please submit the complete application form by clicking on the submit button so it's saying that when we say save it is not actually the application is not submitted so finally you need to submit then only you say application is submitted now go to next and here it will actually give you all the information that you have filled okay so like the first page of the passport and the last page of the passport in the similar manner it will give you all the information that you have filled and you can cross check this information so here it says please verify the details shown below like spelling of the name address etc which will be printed on your passport so if everything is fine you can proceed to the next if you find there is some error here then go back to the section where you have entered the data and correct the data in that section okay now moving to next now there is a self declaration here okay proof of birth select from the drop down so if you click here a declaration given by head of uh, the orphanage or the child care birth certificate issued by register copy extract of the applicant copy of the extract of service record driving license issued by the concerned state government uh, or uh, the your voter i card or your pan card issued by income tax department Uh, all these things are school leaving certificate matriculation certificate everything is considered as your uh, date of birth proof right so here i will give the uh, certificate the school leaving matriculation certificate because that is what i am giving for the uh, eci also non eci right so you can actually choose any of the certificate which is applicable for you or which is available with you then it says grant dg locker access maybe it will check from the dg locker uh, is this uh, certificate is available there or not okay next drop down is the present address okay so i'll choose aadhar card as a present address so submission aadhar card is optional uh, complete the document upload process through the dg locker if you have not have a dg locker account you can create one so basically you can give everything at the dg locker and from there you can upload all the documents required here okay and next year so how your passport got lost or uh, damaged because i am applying for a renewal of the passport but actually you have to select if it is applicable i have my passport available with me okay so i need not to do all this stuff okay so then uh, place date and uh, you have to place and this is the date and then i can preview the application and uh, submit the application right so i think we have done done a detailed walk through of what are the things to be filled okay and we will continue with the next steps also after we submit how to book the appointment how to pay the fees and all those stuff also i will cover so stay tuned for that so once you click on the submit button it will take you through the next page where you can pay the fee and then schedule your psk visit right but that screen is not visible now because i have navigated to the home screen but we can always go back and uh, check our application do the payment and schedule so how to do that let's see that so once you log in you can come here like view saved or submitted application click on that once you click on that uh, here you will be able to see your application number the applicant name and the uh, submission date all this information then select the application and then you can see 
the application or print it you can upload supporting document but uploading the supporting document is optional as you can see here it is written it's optional you can print a receipt you can uh, enter any noc or prior intimation letter i don't know what is this for but yeah that option is there then if you want to pay the fee you can click on payment and appointment so you can pay and schedule the appointment and you can track the payment status as well right and this is the receipt tab and here you can actually see once you make the payment i think you'll be seeing the receipt and all stuff like that so this part is clear right so if i click on now on payment and appointment i can pay and schedule the appointment so it says the schedule appointment at psk or po psk which is in post office also there is a service where you can do all your uh, document submission that is called po psk or the passport office or camp payment is mandatory to schedule an appointment select online payment or chalan payment option to make the payment so now if i click on uh, pay and schedule appointment it is taking me to a payment gateway so you can click on here next and uh, here it will show you the details that your application reference number what is the name and the date of birth and then you can click on next and then it shows you the appointment availability right where and all the appointment is uh, available from which date right so those details is shows then you can choose your location enter the captcha and click on next so once you choose the center or the psk office after that if you go next it will show you all this details your application number the name service type type of application and the total fee that you need to pay the contact number everything it will display and then you need to choose the uh, appointment date so if you click here this red dates are the appointments are not there and the greens the appointment is available right so you can choose uh, any of the state so i will choose let's say uh, i'll go for uh, 18th we click on pay and book the appointment and once the payment is successful your appointment will be booked and this success message will be displayed on your screen so after that this message will pop up on your screen so please read this carefully this is good info actually so please reach 15 minutes before the appointment time and carry the printed copy of the appointment receipt or show the appointment details sms at the counter better to carry the printed copy it is uh, i saw that it is better uh, check the document advisor so in the document advisor you can see that what kind of documents are needed for your passport application right i will go for that as well in case of minor applicant below four years of age carry the recent passport size photograph okay uh, with a white background make sure you do this in case of minor because they will not be taking the photo on the spot photograph will be captured at the camp however the applicant need to carry two recent size passport photographs with a white background while visiting the camp because if because of some technical reasons they could not take the photo uh, they can accept the photo that you have already captured and carrying with you only the applicant is allowed inside the passport office however in case the in case of exception such as senior citizen physically challenged illiterate or minor one more person is allowed from the family uh, within the psk okay at the psk paper token will be issued to you after checking the document your application will be processed at the counter a followed by counter b followed by counter c at all stages please be alert and you should look at the display there is a lcd display uh, in that your uh, token number and a counter number will be always written so look at that and go to the counter accordingly right please collect the acknowledgement slip from the exit counter before leaving also you are requested to fill the feedback form at the exit counter so when i was leaving the counter uh, i didn't get any uh, acknowledgement form okay there was an email and the uh, sms came to my mobile but there was no physical copy of the acknowledgement slip okay in case of tatkal application balance service fee has to be paid inside the passport office please collect the payment receipt from the counter after the payment okay and then uh, corrosive substances explosive weapons these are not allowed uh, obviously take care of your belongings inside the passport office yeah uh, keep your mobile in silent mode when inside the passport office also video and a photography is not allowed inside balance free if applicable after editing the submitted form will be payable at the 
passport office so when i went to the passport office there was an atm machine available outside you can withdraw your cash also and pay it there this is all about the application process when i visited the passport office i faced few issues i will describe it now please stay tuned so now we'll have a look at the document checker right so first thing that you go to this website passportindia.gov.in the same website and then uh, just close this pop up mm, this one as well and here you can see that here you can see that you have many informations right this is information center this is form and affidavit document advisor and feedback and grievance so we'll go to document advisor and here there are categories like document required for fresh passport reissue passport and other things right so we'll go to let's say fresh passport right and here you say i'm going for a normal and uh, what is the category let's say i'll say category is adult and then is uh, non ecr category is applicable yes uh, then continue so now you come to this page and here you have to again select please select the applicable case if you are resident of jammu kashmir resident of nagaland citizens of india other than by birth all this category or you are a employee of the uh, government of psc or statutory body okay so just go through this clearly and whichever is applicable to you then uh, click on that okay so we'll say that none of the above then i'll say view documents required right now i see that i need a proof of present address then proof of date of birth and a document for the non ecr category okay so proof of address we have already seen but let's go through this water bill telephone bill electricity bill income tax assessment order right all these things are there even aadhar card is there rent agreement is also there so now proof of date of birth if i click here then here i have a birth certificate school transfer certificate then uh, pan card is there driving license is there right so all these documents you can use as your date of birth proof and here it clearly says documents mentioned in point 4 to 7 so from here till 7 point are acceptable as proof of date of birth only if it has a precise date of birth of the applicant okay maybe i think somewhere the only the year of birth is mentioned so that we cannot consider as proof of uh, date of birth right and then coming to non ecr category i think this documents also we have seen before but uh, you can also have a look at it now right so these are all the set of documents uh, and here it clearly says that the information provided above is indicative the decision of the apo or the rpo shall be considered final okay and there is a circular here Uh, for the change or correction of date of birth entries in the passport of the applicant if already held by him or her okay you can check this circular as well and here are the faqs so the point is that uh, you do not rely on a single document rather you take all your documents let's say i have aadhar card as uh, address proof and then i have uh, electricity bill and the gas bill so take everything to the passport office it is better to have all the documents Uh, so that whenever something is needed we can show everything to the ap or the rpo in case it is demanded right so that is always required so now if i go to fresh advisor again i am back to the same page and you can always check the different kind of uh, document requirement for the passport right okay so these are few points if you take care of it will actually save you 2 hours of time in passport office okay that is what happened to me so photocopy of the scanned document is not accepted normally using my mobile i scan the document and then take a print out of the document which is actually not accepted they want the xerox copy should be of the original document so directly take your aadhar card and take a photocopy of it okay this first point second is carry the original aadhar card with you not the color print out of the e aadhar okay the e aadhar that we download from the website don't carry the color print of sometimes they are not accepting that even if it is mentioned but they are telling no we need the actual aadhar card and take a photocopy of the original aadhar card okay don't take the photocopy of the downloaded e aadhar because downloaded e aadhar most of the time the signature is not valid it the sign will be like this right but actually the signature should be valid i went with a aadhar card with this kind of signature is not verified and they told this is not acceptable so again i need to take a photocopy of my original aadhar card so just take the photocopy of your original aadhar card all these issues you need not to face okay the problem is that you reach the reach the beginning of the queue you show your documents and uh, then they say that no no this is not accepted that's not accepted then you come back and take a photocopy and then you have to again start from the behind the queue 
you know it will take two hours for you again to reach the counter that's why i'm telling we should keep all these things ready then self attestation that is signing just sign your own document all the xerox copy of the documents is mandatory so sign it prior hand whatever xerox copy you have taken sign all your documents right so basic points but if you don't do it uh, with lot of crowd around and uh, everybody want to get their things fast you will be under pressure and uh, you might goof of things right so please take care of this and few points very specific to bangalore psk which is located near lalbagh main road Uh, the photocopy machine and the atm is available within the campus so you can actually take your photocopy atm from the atm machine you can withdraw money in case you need and uh, one bad part is the parking is not available within the campus so you need to park in some unorganized uh, parking lots and uh, the charges are like uh, 50 rupees per hour okay so just keep that in mind anyway we cannot do much about it but yeah just keep that in mind so for police verification you carry the application form along with your photograph that will be actually provided to you by the psk after they take your photograph they will take the print out with all the filled details and they will give that bunch to you so take that with you along with that uh, take all the documents with you like if you have uh, like multiple documents of your address proof uh, take everything like uh, the aadhar card the rental agreement the gas bill the electricity bill or if you have the voter id card you take all the documents sometimes they ask for multiple documents so there the process would be simple take all the documents and show it at the police station they will keep the photocopy of some of the documents so make sure that you carry the photocopy of all your id proof and the address proof and one passport size photograph also you should carry along with you to the police station so for me the police verification was pretty simple i just gave the documents they were very decent and uh, just uh, saw the documents and they told the it is fine that's all